Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, an old iPad as a secondary monitor. Hey, so I've previously done a video on this, okay, uh, using an iPad as a secondary monitor, but th this was interesting because I had this lying around and I thought, I've got no use for this anyway, yeah? But check this out. So I'm going to Google Meet, okay? And what I'm doing here is I'm sharing a screen, okay? I'm sharing a screen and I'm sharing this screen here, which is a Kahoot. Uh, sorry, not a Kahoot, it's a Quizzes, yeah? So here I am sharing a Quizzes, okay, on a second display. And this is actually my iPad and it's so convenient because I can see everyone here. I can talk to them here and I could be on my second monitor on this Quizzes here. Okay, um, checking out like their progress and seeing how they're doing. I could scroll up and down. I've got this uh, trackpad connected to it. Hey, you know what? You guys may have an old iPad lying around that you could put to use and it's really, really simple. So let me show you how it's done very quickly. Okay, I've just got a simple cable. This is a wide connection. I've got a cable here connected in to the computer and I'm using an application called Duet Display. Uh, I'll really quickly sh quickly show you how that's put together. All right, so I just want to quickly show you then what it is on the iPad. I'm running this. Uh, uh, that's cool, isn't it? Look, you've got that. Yeah, it's brilliant. Okay, so on the iPad, I'm going to quickly just show you then. I just came out of it. What I'm doing is I'm running Duo Display. Okay, so you can see this here. Since it's connected via the cable, is this a lightning cable to USB-C? On the on the laptop, okay, it, it charges as well. So it's constantly charging the iPad as well. So check this out. So since that's on automatic setting, so if I click Duet Display, it's going to start searching for a connection, launching Duet, and there we go. It's now connected. Okay, it's automatically configured to use this. So what have I got running here? I can have my math space here so I can see the progress that students are making. So if I go to the task, this is brilliant. So I've got them here okay, on my Google Meet and I've got this uh, and I can see the progress that students are making here on the task. So I can simultaneously talk about the progress, give them feedback and be in my Google Meet as well. So that's brilliant. This is how uh, I, you know, I've decided this morning to use Duet Display. Okay, so yeah, I'm just looking at this question here and with a white intercept, you can see that the constant at the end, the plus eight, would be represented by zero comma eight. Okay, just remember X and Y coordinates. Let's go ahead and review one more question and then I'll jump onto the mass based task. Okay, what is the slope of the equation? Really, I had no use for this iPad and I thought, hey, let me just connect it. And I've got a few applications that I'm running that I need to see simultaneously. Now I'm not in the office, I don't have my second display, so I can just connect my iPad to it. That was a quick video that I wanted to share with you guys because I set it up this morning and I thought, you know what? I wonder how many people out there, how many of you have an iPad sitting around that you think, you know what? You can actually connect it to your MacBook or your Windows laptop okay, and use it as a second display. Now I find it really useful to do things like this where I've got like a, a quizzes or a Kahoot or I've got my registration or I've got something that I've got open that I want to track at the same time. It's really simple to do that. Give it a go for yourselves. And as always, I'll check in the next one.